Hello and welcome everyone to Yishan, the Call Division card game. I hope you guys are having a good day, because I'm going to try to have a great day as well. So we're trying to build some... Well, for now, nothing, but in the future, hopefully, get something to work. I'll do it this way. This is fine. Yeah, last game. Oh my god, you're here too as well. Um, I guess if you really try to st to stream snipe, you can get it to work. Not bad. If we can get the DV3, Hori, and somebody else as well, <laughs> we're gonna have a very I don't know unanimous gaming sessions. Wish you the best of luck, Corey. Uh, let's go and choose Formation Master. I've been trying to get... Um, or try to build, I should say. An Unrestrained Sword setup. I've not been very successful, but I've been trying. That matters a lot. Okay, Corey has a... it's a good start. It's actually not the worst, but it's not great. This lady has a very basic old sword to start with a 9 damage start. It's not bad. Fair enough. The player base uh, right now is... If I'm not mistaken, around 500. I should check it again. Is it? It might be less. Last I check, because uh, I do follow up on uh, how popular the game is and how much the player base. Um, because based on the statistics, you can tell how likely somebody's gonna find your game, whether by friends recommendation or other ways. Alright, this is quite good. We can switch out of this. Oh, this is perfect. Oh god. This is pretty nice. Okay. Do I want to level up? I think I'll break through. I don't mind it. I'll, I'll, I'll try to save my exchanges. I was never successful. So, as of late, According to Steam charts, um, we currently have around 250 players. The 24 hour peak is around 700. And uh, the reason this is painful to watch is because the all time peak was 10k. When it just dropped, the game was so crazy. I'll get an Unrestrained Sword too. I need to get strong quickly. Uh, and I love the game. I wish it has more player bases. I think at some point, uh, we call it. The people running the game should either uh, make a big update and then advertise it to a certain extent or Make a big update and give a discount. That way people get re-interested in the game and you get a big flow of people playing the, the game at once. That kind of revival could last for a bit. And uh, yeah, uh, that usually is quite cool. I'm not sure how the game can be played in the upper levels because clearly the people who are still playing are people like me who just genuinely enjoy chaos and... I honestly play it because I like streaming to people and this is just my little corner in the world uh, that I decided to stream in. Maybe in the future I switch games, I don't know, but for now I'm happy, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so I'm st I'll stick around for a little more and see how things are played. 
I don't mind if I'm not the most successful streamer. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with getting to know some of the people here. In the future, I probably just will change the game because once you are playing the same people, it kind of gets repetitive. Or more like it does get repetitive. There's so much variation in the game, but there's also play styles. So if you play this lady and you try to go unrestrained sword which is not a good build by the way i think a cloud sword build is much more stable and more likely to get you top spot like if i want to really climb i think i could hit mid three five hundreds like i think easily i could do three five hundred if i play cloud sword this lady because a lot of this game is choosing when to roll, when to get powerful, and a little bit of luck, of course. And that's it. You you can just disgustingly destroy people with just a little bit of luck. And I'm pretty lucky, I think. At least in the game. Real life, we don't know about that. Anyway, that was a small rant. I thought I hope I didn't bother you guys or not bother you. Not bore you guys. Uh, I'll go with Drift's Ice Blade. So far, we're not really getting any good cards, per se. Uh, the reason I'm rolling is because I need an extra card here that does not suck. Sure. Better than nothing, honestly. Uh, I think that is one of the biggest mistakes they've done. I think a lot of people, when Tiger Tony showed up, were happy with it. But then once people started to realize, oh god, there is no way to play around it. Like, uh, Tiger Tony, when he just came out with the metal element, uh, the penetration formation, the penetrate formation was super powerful and buffed. And you can just die in four turns. Whether you play defense, whether you play whatever, the only way around it was guard up. But even guard up is kind of screwed because he has chases. Yes, I'm really waiting for the other two people. Well, we have two units coming up soon. Uh, I think that's gonna give it a boost in playability. Um, maybe we'll also encourage more people to show up because it's a game that's being given love you know the more a game is updated the more people are likely to show up back um i would be very happy if uh retromation and other people who played the game or tried to play the game uh try it out again once we have new characters i mean to be fair uh he is a let's play channel he's not the Yishan channel so i cannot really force him not really expect him to go back in time i don't know if i'm making sense you cannot expect people to go back just for it it makes sense yeah what is this person playing oh wow I am so sorry, I have no idea how you're surviving. But I enjoy the community that somehow happened around us. I mean, I would be so happy if he comes back, because a lot of my people somehow found me from my con- from Ritual Mission channel. Um, usually, uh, if you get a big chunk of people watching Yixian, they'll eventually find me. I don't think anybody who plays this game and search on YouTube does not see a single video of mine. I've been very consistent over, I don't know, the last... Uh, this is a lot of boys in here. I've consistently been giving out... Oh god, what is this? Should I go slow or should I go fast? Let's go slow for now.
Right, this is pretty good. I don't know, anybody who plays a lot of card games, uh, maybe even Slay the Spire style or TFT, I think Team Fight Tactics, Slay the Spire, uh, any, any big shots that enjoy card games, but this is an auto battler, so it's kind of unique. It's kind of unique. I think a lot of Retromation, uh, Retromation made videos like four months ago, but he's holding the upper stack whenever you search Hisham. Uh, but this is more of a YouTube thing rather than anything else. But yeah, Rito is pretty cool. I try to, f like, whenever he plays a new game, I try to check if it's something I would enjoy. And is it close enough to my original style? Okay, let's just break through and get our tier 4 card. Really? This game is so sad. It's whenever you're like, okay, I'm gonna try to win. They give you, they just jumble you back up. I'm not gonna get screwed over by that. Um, I'm not gonna go on Restraint Sword, even though that was the intention at the beginning. Uh... What can I do here? Let's do it this way. Oh man, I love you, but you, you hurt my soul. I swear to god, if I get every unrestrained sword card on earth now, I'll be super upset and super salty. It is a multi-game. I think the... Most people who played Storybook Brawl would love this game, because I've played Storybook Brawl for a good amount. Most people who played, um, I don't think, maybe Frost and Slay the Spire might be interested. Um, I'm just finding games where the community would enjoy the style. Because this is not a, this is a PvP strategy card game. It's an auto battler to a certain extent as well. So it just has a lot of different elements and it's just a it's kinda nice, it's cute. Uh once you play it along a lot of hours, if you put a lot of hours into it, you slowly start to realize the methods to the madness, I guess, if that makes sense. Not sure what she's trying to do, but uh, whatever she is trying to do, she needs a lot of max HP. Because I removed max HP. Goodbye. Okay, maybe not this turn, but in the future. What is she trying? Oh god, I completely destroy her boat. Just simply, my strategy is I heal 5, she deals 5. Yeah. Alright, I will not bother with this, like, looking for new cards, there's nothing to look for. Maybe another soft heart, but I don't think that's really that important. Like, literally, mirror, uh, like, formation side, side job is now useless. There's nothing in a formation side job that I would die for. Maybe I could get like something that adds some max HP or maybe, 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 just maybe. Um, a damage reduction, that's it. I don't think the 12 damage when chasing is that useful. It's just kind of cute so that if somebody chases a lot, you can kind of lower his health in a way. Let's see. So far, Ori is uh, adding to go healing. I didn't check. I just had a passing thought. Okay. So we're really good against poison, just because we heal five a turn. 
uh, which is quite nice. We're a little more resilient than most people in most builds. Ouch. Good. I love it. We're just trying to get ahead. Um, there's nothing funny or exciting about what I am trying to do right now. There would be a world where getting chases would be better. Or much better. Maybe I should be rolling for chases, but... We're playing against Cory now. He has a billion max HP gain. But I don't think... Unless he changes his whole build... My Cloud Sword Avalanche will eventually catch up. I'm so slow, so that also might be in forever. Yeah. Because first loop is probably like, what, 30 damage, second loop is 50. It's just going to take forever to get this to ramp up. Whether I can outramp his damage or not, that is a different question though. He has a lot of max HP gain. Technically 25 a turn. But it's only his chi uh, his stillness sitted armor is not that good. It's only 2 HP. So we might be able to outdamage him. For now I still have the leeway to mess around. We'll see. Oh, hello. You found an extremely suspicious. I remember this card before. I'm not sure why you played it this way, but no problem. He has two chases. Quite nice. I don't have the two chases, but it's okay. It's gonna take him a while to hurt me, to be fair, because I kinda out heal his damage output. And I have a scaling damage here, so... It's gonna be... Yeah, we're just gonna rush him. Hopefully he makes it out of uh, his issue alive. Oh. I need three cards to break through. What card am I willing to give up? I think I'll give up this card. Hopefully I can get... Uh... Oh, three Cloud Swords. Good. Perfect. We got a Chase card. Um, I'll keep this because actually we can still upgrade it. And now we need to look for Chases. I love the Chasing here. Okay, how do I do this in a way that makes sense? Let's do it this way. This will always chase. So the question should be... If this is how I want to play it. Let's see if we can find a second chase. Okay, good. We found another chase. Now that we have another chase, we can... Who should I replace? Okay, sure. We're chasing a lot now. This is slightly better. Do I need this? I don't think so. Okay. Quite good. Um... <laughs> um, I've played... I'm not sure when did I start playing exactly. I played around the same time. I mean, I think Retformation first game. That's how I got introduced to the game, so if you see when Retromation uploaded his first upload since then, I have been I have been uploading YouTube on YouTube for 
around the same time. I actually uploaded a month before Pishan uh, came out. I think I was in November. That's when I started streaming or trying to post videos. And uh, at the beginning, it was really cool. Uh, I had a lot of success. Or a lot of quick success, I guess uh, that is to say. And uh, you get to learn a lot of things. I could reduce the amount of healing I get, but honestly, I'm not sure if that's the thing I want to do. I'm currently happy, I guess, with the current state. Because uh, this is 6 health a turn. And I think 6 health a turn is pretty good. Or 12 health, because we, play, we always chase. The game is hard. How's Cory doing? Oh, Cory is still doing good. His, his decision to, like, double down on Dharma is pretty harsh, but he's trying to make it work with Strike Twice, uh, which is not bad. Anyone with Chi Reduction will make him cry, at the beginning at least. Once he hit the Feed on Illusions, life becomes so much better. Revitalize... it's gonna be good. <laughs> it's a good scaling damage output. Okay, he, he is seeing some light. How much light is he seeing? I'm not sure, but he is seeing some light. Um, am I ever gonna play Heavenly Spirits for Sage Formation? Not really. I feel like with this setup, what I just need is, if I'm not wrong, just Cloud Sword, uh, Touch the Sky, I think, or the one step, is it step lightly? It's the one where it gives you defense. That's it. Two cards of those and probably gonna do pretty well. Because my damage output is this. This is my damage output. I don't need more. Unless the other guy plays guard ups. Usually. Um, I did this mistake earlier. So because of Fire Flame Blade, this chases regardless. There's no. This is as reli reliable as Cloud Sword Flashwind, and it gives us free defense. And we kind of wrecked whoever this guy is. Sorry. Uh, we could play Echo Formation, but it stops us from looping, which is not okay. We did not get anything this this turn. We're just hoping for good draws, that's it. I could play Cloud Sword Avalanche much earlier. I think that would work. How early though, I'm not sure. We can do it this way. Uh, our first loop is gonna deal less damage, but we're trying to kill him by the second loop, as always. Yeah, so this is a broken uh, thing. Each attack reduces the enemy by 2 max HP. Blah blah blah. It's always good. It's lovely. So the more multi-attacks you got, the better. At least in my opinion. And yeah. This will reduce her max HP by a good amount. But I'm not upgrading anything. I'm not getting anything new. So let's hope for the best. We're playing against some hexagram stuff. He is still fresh. He could get a billion hexagram more. But he is in an exchange phase. Let's see if he gets a, a good boost in power ups. Always happens. People hit their power spike on my turn. Cory is struggling to live mainly because of this setup. He decided to. Jump into healing a little too much or a little too early uh, before he upgraded this card. I'm not sure what, why he made that decision, but yeah, he's on his last step. I'm so sad that Cory, when he tried to play with me, he loses MMR instead of gaining MMR. But I guess that's just how it is. <laughs> Wish you the best, brother. Good luck.
boom boom not bad excellent ouch sometimes i feel like i'm getting hurt more than i should be but i still feel good i think we're killing him next turn yeah goodbye the fact that i heal 12 per turn gives me so much leeway the only problem is i'll probably die if uh, the person against me plays something you know harsh i'm not gonna go for a flash wind i'll just go for an extra part sometimes they give us something better oh my god i hate my life what is this why, why am i why am i given these two <laughs> Uh, I mean, Corey did upgrade this, so he does have a chance now. Yeah, am I gonna be... Is he gonna survive my, me, or am I gonna be able to send him to bed early? That is the real question. I am so upset that all the restrained swords are showing up now. But oh well. I'm not sure if I should uh, wait and upgrade Flash Sword to Wind, but I have not up upgraded a single card in so long, and that is worrying. I, I think, no, I, that's the thing. I have not upgraded a single card in so long. That is so sad. I'm not sure why. Uh, my Avalanche counters his stacking, and since I'm chasing, I do stack much faster. I don't I hope I hope I have enough damage to run his run him down. But we'll see. My reduction to max HP also helps, so he cannot really go crazy on the healing. So hopefully we can just limit him to 130 or 120, I'm not sure. Ouch. I mean, the next turn, it's Strike Twice Great Spirit, so you know that it's going to be rough. Even if we're dealing more damage, he's going to heal all of it back. Yeah. He's back to 127. And because of that, his Vitalize is going to hit hard. He might actually win. Yeah. I mean, I'm dealing more and more damage, but next turn, he's probably going to do a lot of work. God, okay, we'll see how this works. This is our last chance. If my next avalanche doesn't kill, we, we don't work. Oh, we did kill him with the last avalanche. Goodbye, Cory. I, I was gonna lose. And because I killed him, the game rewarded me with step lilies. I guess, yeah, that's literally what happened. Just there. Oh my god, okay, good. We're just going to be doing this then. Um, sure. The world just opened up. And there has to be peace. So we gain 3 strength every loop now. And I'll do it this way, because there's no point in gaining 3 strength here. Yeah. That is good. Goodbye. Yeah, Corey, you basically were competing for first spot. You had a good chance. If you played against anybody else, they'll probably win. Because this this build specifically might not be able to kill you. Maybe this build as well sucks, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't know what this build is about. I hope I'm strong enough to beat him. <laughs> Bad RNG. Uh, I guess. It was perfectly stacked so that streamer gets his streamer moment, I guess. That's, uh, that's all it is. Thank you for participating, I guess. It's, uh, it's pretty fun. Okay, my block came in beautifully on point. Okay, let's see. 12 sword intent is super scary. Okay, we're dying here. 
but we managed to kill him before we get in one shot. What what the hell happened? Where is his cat? I thought he had a cat. Did he drop his cat by mistake? What is he doing? He had this card. He should have played it instead of whatever the bullshit he did. That was a mistake. Very costly mistake as well. Um, this is the last turn or before last turn. Uh, I'm gonna keep these two cards. It's a chance to upgrade things. Currently, this is quite strong. It's a good game. It's been a very good game. Uh, the fact that I heal 6 a turn helps so much against people who deal consistent amount of damage. The ramp up from strength allows my little hits to matter. And then I have a big hit at the end, so it's not bad. For top 3, I have 96 cultivation, or destiny to be fair. But once I lose, once I die, i probably three games away from dying. They're probably gonna play against each other, so I'll end up second space or second spot or first spot. So far, I still feel okay. We'll see how this build works. We're not dying yet. Very good. Ouch. We're alive and he's dead probably. Yeah. It's a perfect kill again. And uh, I'm competing for top spot. That is so nice. I love this game. That was a good game.